<laughs> you know how we find wonder drugs? We get thousands of petri dishes like this, put a germ in it, and then put a trial antidote for that germ in it. And then we simply cross our fingers. This is how we find wonder drugs. Trial and error. And how many petri dishes are there? Thousands. Thousands of petri dishes. Each one with a germ, each one with a potential antidote to that germ. And then what do you do? You cross your fingers and hope to find the next wonder drug. That's today. Tomorrow, it'll be done by computer. We'll do it in the memory of a quantum computer. And what kinds of things can we do? For example, we're talking about Alzheimer's. We used to think that Alzheimer's disease was caused by gum in the brain, called amyloid protein gum. That's why people die. If you're in your 80s, about 50% of the population has Alzheimer's disease. I repeat, in this room, by the time you're in your 80s, about half of you will have Alzheimer's disease. Think about it for a moment. And we used to think that the gum of the brain causes Alzheimer's disease. Now we realize that's not true. It turns out there are at least two types of gum. One gum does nothing. You can, you can have tremendous amounts of this gum in your brain and be perfectly rational. Other people have a little bit of the bad gum and they have Alzheimer's disease. Now we realize that there are at least two types of amyloid protein. 